In today's video, I'll show you how to create this effect that lets you include your video timeline, or in this case, your editing options, in your final video. To do this, your video editor of choice needs two things. One, you must be able to work with overlays, and two, you must be able to crop video. That's why I'm going to show you how to do this in CapCut. For this tutorial, I'll be using two apps, InShot and CapCut. This is a CapCut tutorial. However, the first step in including your video timeline is to take a screen recording unedited of whatever app you're showing. I'll be making a video showing you the filters available inside InShot. You might be wondering why I'm using a photo. It's so that you can take a look at each filter individually without the distraction of moving video. Simply start the task that you want to demonstrate once your screen recorder is activated. You'll see that by the red shape in the upper left hand corner. As long as this shape is on screen, everything you're doing is being recorded. Simply tap each filter one at a time, leaving enough space in between so that you as the viewer can take a second to take a look at each filter properly. If you miss one, just start over. This method of including your video timeline as it plays can save you time and space on your iOS device. Once you're finished, stop the screen recording by tapping on the shape in the upper left hand corner and selecting stop. I'm done with InShot for now. I'm going to move into CapCut and place the screen recording that I just took into a CapCut project. I'll format the video and remove the background blur. Once you've got your screen recording that you've taken inside a CapCut project, scrub back to the beginning of the video, select the clip, and then swipe over and tap on Copy to make a copy of the clip. This will be your overlay clip, which I'm going to crop. Once the clip has been copied, it will appear. Then select the copy of your clip, swipe over once more, and find the overlay option with your clip selected. This will turn the clip into an overlay. Then simply drag the overlay clip back to the beginning of the main clip. In this example, I only need the overlay to appear once I start selecting each filter. This is the point where I start selecting each InShot filter, right about here. So I'll stop playback, split the clip right here, and delete the portion to the left. The next step is to crop your overlay clip. So you'll want to select your overlay clip and look for the edit option that appears as the square. You may have to swipe left to move right to find it. Remember that CapCut has two edit options. One that looks like a pair of scissors and the other one that looks like a square. To select that you're going to tap on crop and then move the crop handles so that just the InShot filters are showing like this. Then tap on the check mark once you're done. Make sure you use the freehand crop. It works best. Now you can see that you've got two layers. Let me zoom in the main clip. This is a trick I use when I'm playing back videos in these tutorials. Sometimes I zoom the clip in so that you can just see the video playback area. Notice that the InShot filters are still in the middle of the screen. These need to be moved into position. You can do that easily. Just select your overlay clip and pinch the clip to make it the size that you want. Before you do this, you should decide where you want to place your overlay. Once your overlay is in position, just select your main clip and move it up a little bit so that you can see your photo. 
you want the overlay clip to be big enough that a viewer should be able to see the filters and read the names. This is what saves you time in making these type of videos. When you have an overlay clip and a main clip, if you adjust the speed of either clip, your video will be affected. Notice that these clips line up pretty good and they should because they're exactly the same clip which means that they're exactly the same length. If you need to edit the clips in any way, export the video out as it is, bring it into a new project and make your edits there. That way both clips will still line up even if you speed up or slow down your video. You can see that both clips appear to line up properly, but notice that there's a bit of a problem here at the end. The easiest way to fix this is just to split both clips at the same point and delete the unwanted footage. Before you export your clip, always play the clip at normal speed to see if it works for you. Once you're satisfied, tap the export button to export your video. Wait for the export to finish. Don't close your app or lock your screen at any point because if you do, the export will fail and you'll have to repeat it. Here you can see both clips line up and you can clearly Let's have a see look at the final each result. filter as it's applied to the photo I've chosen. You can also see the name so that if you're looking for a particular filter, you can easily find it. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.